Here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with zillion support, and the commentary is coming after the game. Various reasons I couldn't actually speak during the game, but you can start to see my team right here. I can't move because of the whole ritual thing. Callista's going all stabby stabby on me. Perfect way to start a match. So my one gripe with this team was that I'm the AP. We have Klista in the AD carry position, Jarvan mid, I believe, Rengar top, and then Shaco in the jungle. And you can see by the time that this is a pretty brief game. The only reason I grab Zillion here at all is just because I know he's getting a buff. He just got his rework, so I wanted to figure out, okay, is he good? Is he weak? What is going on with our good buddy, the Chrono Keeper? There are the enemy matchups. We have Zerath mid, Malphi top, Kha'Zix in the jungle, and... Jinx and Lulu bot, which we'll be going up against. So the bad news is Lulu early on can be really annoying for me if she takes her shield to start things off. That's going to pretty much nullify any type of aggression I have. And if you think that's actually a bad thing, not really, because if she puts it on her AD carry, that means Pix will assist in last hitting or harassing. So the shield start on Lulu is, I'd say, is legit when you're up against Zillion, but that's probably it. Anyway, here's the mouse over for Zillion stuff. Your passive is still the worthless heightened learning. Q is time bomb, now a skill shot instead of targeted. It has a 1.1 second stun at rank 1, scaling up to 1.5 seconds at max rank. You proc the stun by dropping two bombs. So right here I told the AD carry I was going to run circles around here spamming the joke, if you're wondering why I was talking like that, or just spamming the joke button. Right there you can use your bombs now to grant vision. It's up to you if it's worth the mana cost, but right there we didn't really have vision on them and you don't want a Jinx to get fed. So I was hoping she was trying to ward the brush and I was going to catch her while she was trying to ward, but no, she played it a little safe. And right here, I don't know why Callista went forward, and I end up having to give up most of my health in order to try to save her. Sadly, since I went for the more aggressive start, since I figured I need to contribute some AP damage to the fights, I only have one health pot instead of just two. Good news is, Rengar went ahead and killed Malphite. I'm not gonna lie, the last time I took the guy top lane was season 2, so I have no idea if Malphite's any good. He was always kind of on the weak side. Not too bad against certain melee types where you could, well, the auto attacking types, Trindamir comes to mind. I guess he'd be decent against Jax in some regards. But anyway, about the lane at hand. I already used my Trinket Ward on the brush up there, as you can see. I was kind of hoping Callista would use the one here so that we'd have vision control on that brush, but no dice. Anyway, I dropped the bomb there and tried to zone them because I feared they'd move up. Maybe I'd get lucky and catch one of them. Due to how inconsistent the time bomb is now, it actually has a pretty significant travel time like Corky's Phosphorus Bomb. So, I'm not entirely sure if the... Uh, Spell Thief is the way to go. I think you may be better off going for the, um, the coin. The advantage of the coin, of course, that gives you movement speed. So right there I gave my movement speed to Shaco because I figured, hey, we got an engagement. If I can keep Shaco on Jinx, that means Red Buff and his E passive will slow her down for the, us to engage on them. Right there, Jinx stood still long enough to force me into lobbying a bomb at her, and since Callista has no intention of warding that brush, I had to go and burn my 3-minute ward. So at this point, we now have to keep our backs to the turret because we have no way to secure vision inside of the river. So Rengar died in retaliation. If you're wondering about an on-the-hunt thing occurring, just look at the length of the video. It's not happening. Or the hunt is on, that's what it's called. On the hunt is Severe's old. So right there I managed to get a hit on Lulu. Gave close to the movement speed to try to get her the hell out of there. And Callista is about to DC, I believe, which is why she's not last hitting. So if you're wondering why she's over there, that's why.
So, right here I'm a little rusty with last hitting with Zillion. You can see that I do have trouble last hitting under the tower. One of the things I don't like, right there I did the stun. One of the things I don't like is that his auto attack is so slow traveling for how weak the entire thing is. It makes last hitting under tower with him a real chore, and that's one of the things I don't like about Zillion. So right here I'm asking the other players if maybe they're pre-made with Callista, is Callista coming back? Things along those lines. So I went ahead and picked up two potions this time because I figure I may need to try to hold this line until Rengar can potentially carry us to victory. Or until Callista returns, one of the two. But all in all, the opportunity for... Oh, there goes Zera. So, Jarvan does a little suicide thing to try to stall Kha'Zix, I guess. But as I... Uh, Callista just returned, but as I was trying to say, it's not a good idea to let a hyper carry free farm. They are going to own you late game if you let them do that. And I just don't have the AP or the base damage in the Q. I, don't, I should have looked up before this game started how the base damage in the queue has changed. I believe that went down. The AP skilling also went down from 0.9 to 0.8, so Zillion really got screwed in his quote-unquote rework. Sure, you do get a little bit of CC, but you also lost your permaslow on your E. So he gave up a lot for... I'd go as far as to say literally nothing. So the bad news here is I took all that damage when Shaco finally shows up to gank, and I can't really make anything of it. So I went ahead and picked up a fairy charm here for more mana regen, that way I can maybe launch an extra bomb or two before finally running out of mana. Ringer's on his way down to uh, three long swords and a uh, brutalizer, eh? Well, yeah, Ringar's definitely out for blood with that type of build. I don't remember what it was he actually builds in the end, so I imagine that two of those are probably going towards a Tiamat. I don't know about the last one. So right there, Lulu got blown the hell up. And I... How did I get that? Did I actually speed up running around? I don't remember, but I got my first assist here. Bad news is we did end up paying in Jarvan's life. Good news is we got Zerath. Bad news is we ended up giving Kha'Zix a double kill. So in the event that this game were to go long enough, we do want to funnel some kills onto Rengar so that he can win the hunt. A fourth evolution Kha'Zix... Well, Kha'Zix is not as popular or as dangerous as he used to be. But if he still has four evolutions, he's not something to take lightly. And that's why we want to make sure that if the fight does take place, Rengar wins. And I don't even remember what he wins from the fight anymore because they changed him so damn much. So right there I tried to thin out the hurt a little bit so that maybe Plus could pick them off with a single spear, her Q, I mean. She did not rise to the occasion. So now we have Chrono Shift. I don't know if this move has changed any, but it feels like the range on it has gone down. I will admit it's been a long, long, long time since I played Zillion. Probably s you can probably see it on the channel how long it's exactly been, but I imagine it's at least six months, so... Some stuff is definitely going to be alien, because he feels slower to me. Numerically, he is weaker. The trade-off for the reduced stuff on the time bomb, of course, that's cheaper to use, so you can use more of them, and the cooldown is slightly lower, so that you can cast it more often. And I'm not entirely sold on that being a worthwhile trade. It may actually be advantageous for sustained lanes like Soraka and Sona, but in lanes like this, or like Janna, it's not going to help as much. And Janna's especially devastating because she maxes the shield first, so she's really good at mitigating your damage. So right here, I want to see if I can get Callista's passive to proc to get a kill and then give her gold, even though I'm the one last hitting. I'm not entirely sure how her W works, but that's what I kind of wanted to test out there. 
So we know there's movement in the river. I figure I'll go ahead and activate the dragon. That's the one nice thing about the way Time Bomb has changed. Malphite gives up yet another kill, and you can see that the dragon has not come back until just now, so someone was tanking that. And this time I kind of botched the throw, but he's still within the blast radius to get up. Here I wanted to help Jarvan. I was too late to help Rengar, but we now have Shaco in the area. The plan here is that we can send Shaco in stealth really, really quickly. And right there I used my ult on Jarvan to basically stall the Jinx Snowball. Bad news is... We are now in bad shape as of a good Xerath Blast and a couple tower shots. And for one reason or another, Shaco just committed Harakiri. I don't know what that was, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. So as of this back, I need to go ahead and finally get the Sightstone. I don't want to be one of those AD, uh, one of those supports where you're supposed to be warding and you're kind of not doing your one job. As for this, I was looking at other things to pick up. For the Morellos, I don't think it really helps in this particular matchup. The one that I was leaning towards was the uh, Crucible. The advantage to that, though, would just be get rid of one of Zerath's stuns, and hopefully whoever he hit doesn't die in the process. So right there I gave him the speed so that he could close the gap on Zerath. Sadly, my bomb landed on Shaco instead of Zerath. But that doesn't stop him from killing the mages or whatever the hell it is Zerath's title is supposed to be. So if Shaco actually had a backbone, we could have won that fight pretty easily. Not to mention we had Jarvan in the wings, just in case things started to go south. We could have baited them into us. But in the end, we really accomplished nothing, and Clista is on her own while I try to get stuff done in other lanes. She totally whipped her Q. I don't think that would have been enough to save her life, but would have maybe caused Jinx to think twice. Now the bad news here is I just don't have the movement speed to keep up with Rengar to give him my movement speed buff. And one thing I can talk about is skill order on Zara and uh, Zillion. I don't really believe there's any reason to max the E other than last. Like, before, if you remember, or if you've never seen my channel before, I'd max Q, I'd get W to rank 3, then I'd change gears and max E, because the rewind cooldown would be manageable. But the speed up no longer increases in duration with rank of the move, so I don't really have any incentive to max it. I have to look and see if maybe the magnitude of the speed goes up, but that's still not really a lot. So I could have swept that ward away, but odds are she had reinforcements in the wings, and doing so would just cost me my sweeper. Similarly, level seven at the moment, that does mean it'd go on a full two second or two minute cooldown. Not very desirable. Right here, I kind of wanted to save the bug. It's just I didn't make it in time to do so. So right there is Fate's call. I went ahead and used that to drop some bombs. Sadly, the bombs were not on the same target. But the good news is I was able to keep Clista somewhat alive. It did cost me my flash, sadly, but as long as we could benefit in the long term, it'd be more than worth it. Bad news is she just got blown up by the bug instead, since she decided, hey, I'm gonna sit in the middle of this brush. It's not like Kha'Zix does like double or triple damage when you're alone or anything. Inevitable. So, not the wisest move on Callista's part, but not enough to cost us the game or anything. So, I can't actually drive her off as is, and I don't have the mana to help Shaco. So, the next best thing I can do is just ward the brush, set it up so that Shaco can finish that off, and then we both go our separate ways, 
with yes. trying to contain the vision of both sides. So they're sweeping out my new ward. I can go back there and just replace it as soon as I get out. But for now, I need to deal with my mana problem. Time is wasted. So I went ahead and picked up the Forbidden Idol. It's going to give me a little bit of CDR, which means more ults. And it also gives you an extra 50% mana regen, which is... Pr uh, I believe it's the same as two fairy charms. It's the only thing you get out of combining them is just the CDR. So I'm not entirely sure how we got that so easily, but we went ahead and it. So right there I used the bomb to give me Vision of the Brush. Sadly, I didn't have enough time with the bomb to actually just finish it off then. And there was no assist to be found for me because my team just kind of blew him up way before I could contribute. I don't know why Zillion feels so slow. So the game is winding down, you can see the score, and we are now getting ready to, to stir up a little bit of trouble. So Shaco went down to the bug, I sped up Rengar thinking, hey, he's not going to let Jarvis sit there and die, right? Yes, he so right there is Fate's Call, I went ahead and gave Malphite a taste of his own medicine, but something knocked me back. Is down. For Rengar, he kind of wasted his flash there. I was kind of hoping they'd burn something bigger on him and I could try to bait it out with the Chrono Shift, but no dice. So the Xerath ult is down because that's how Callista died, I can recall right here. And just to play it safe, I'm sitting under the turret while it still has its whole damage buff thing. And I went ahead and picked up the um, Venus Codex, so maybe I was thinking about getting the Morellos. The advantage of the Morellos, of course, is that it gives you double mana regen. It's probably one of the best mana regen items in the game, so much so that it actually completely replaced the Chalice. The Chalice is supposed to be more the defensive item. So I got another level, and that puts me at high enough to actually have my time bombs maxed. So right there, using the bomb to scout, I went ahead and found a Yordle lying in wait. Germ goes ahead and picks her up, I get the assist, and we're all much better well off as a result. One less Yordle in the world and everything. So I didn't want to give up the Scud Alert, and luckily I didn't have to. The bad news is Jarvin's in such bad shape that this is not a good idea by any means. But Callista looped around and the two of them were able to take down the shard of the monolith. So, making the call is steal the blue buff. I'm just lagging behind a bit since I don't know all the specifics of Zillion and I'm not really looking forward to playing him in the future as is, but like usual when someone gets a buff that I have played on the channel a few times, I will go ahead and play a game with them. So right there, Fate's Call fell a little short. I couldn't knock up Xerath to cancel his ult, but I just tossed some bombs on him instead and called it a day. So we are now approaching the final minute of the game, and you can see that the enemy team really has nothing going for them. The only reason their turrets are staying is just because we haven't decided to push yet. We're just farming them for gold to get better items, and then we just storm the base. They won't really have a prayer to stop us. Callista has her IE now. Once she has a Last Whisper and a crit item, then she will just tear right through Malphi like it's nothing. As for Shaco, here's the final battle. You can see he's in a bad spot. Down he goes to... I don't know what it was that he picked him off. But, one crown of shift later, the clown is back up and it kind of sucks to be them. And that was the Spirit Break that caused them to throw on the top. We were going to pick up Baron anyway, so it's not like they really had a chance to come back. But anyway, that was...
bazillion support, pre-buff. Thoughts and expressions be in the description. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.